What's going on? What's going on? This video today is going to be about the United States of America returns with W. Kamar Bell called po Police and the Police. And I'm looking forward to the episode. I'll be watching Carmel. He's been throwing his fist in the air. Brother style, much respect for that because he's acknowledging. Obviously, this past year and a change has been crazy mad. And let's be realistic. Uh... Police has been always off the dough knobs against black folks. Ain't nothing new. You know, bottom line is, how can you submit anything? And, and you know, you're going to ask the question, are you going to admit that you're racist? Are you going to tell the truth that you hate black folks? Because too often than not, the stuff keeps coming on and on. And Carmel Bell does a great job of presenting a situation. United States, United Shades of America is a pretty cool show. I like his concept. The reality is you can go in circles and dance all you want. It's not going to stop the hate that's lingers. And it's just a bad scent that's over hanging over people. And it's just like one of those things that it just doesn't seem to let up. But I am definitely applauding where he's going with this. And I definitely watch his show. And I think it's just very important that police and the police, what do people ask for their lawmakers? What do they want? And I'm not just talking to black folks, because they know we're tired of this. But other communities got to step up and say, hey, yo, what you going to do? Yo, what you want? You know, and it's just not a situation where people are taking heed to what needs to be said or need to be done. So it's a very dangerous slope with that. And often than not, you have to you have to think about the front taking something out because it's like, look, you're not doing your job and black people are American citizens. So whether you like it or not, you have to acknowledge. So when you still see Jim Crowism going on, you know, it's a definite blow. This is just a definite reality. But um, I am looking forward to this particular episode and hopefully, you know, see where Kamal goes with it. But I think that. You know, we can talk to we're blue in the face. Ain't nothing going to change. You know, it's just that, hey, you're dealing with the situation where people would rather, you know, blow you off than to deal with the racism because it's institutionalized, systematic. And they don't understand. They, they understand. They know that this is the real pandemic. They know that the police get to go after black people more than anybody else. Why is that? Because it's part of the Bounty hunters, the old slave master catcher. Ain't nothing changed. It's the same rules. It's just like having an electoral college vote. It's the same rules. It's just manipulating a modern context. And they know it. So, but anyway. Um, I am looking forward to this particular episode as I'll watch Kamal talk about it. And I'll watch them police's lie and tell all kinds of stories. Because, you know, if Rodney King in the past... To George Floyd and now Dante Wright, and you keep on going on and on and on, and it's the same old same. When will it? When will it end? You see, it's the legalized genocide that keeps on giving. So anyway, I'm looking forward to this particular episode. But give me your thoughts and takes. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. Please hit the like to subscribe. And um, I am operating through this secret right now because I don't know what's going on with the YouTube. Uh, automatic button. It's acting real janky and funky, and you know how they be tripping sometimes. But anyway, I'm alive and well. I'm looking forward to feedback, and I will respond the best to you. And uh, Kamal Bell is cool, and I'm looking forward to United Shades of America episodes. Till next time, peace and the best. I'm out.